In this video, we are going to see how we can use the Laravel templating engine. And also, we are going to try to use the template inheritance. And also, we are going to create our own custom view in order to use the Laravel templating engine perfectly. So, right here, I'm just going to come to the welcome blade.php that can be found in the views root directory. And I'm just going to clear some things inside. I'm going to clear the CSS you see here. So I'm just going to scroll down a little bit. And clear that CSS. So I'm just going to clear that. And also I'm going to clear everything here. So any other thing? I think I also have to clear all these things inside the body. So we don't we are not using a route for now. I'm just going to clear those things. And and that's it. So inside the body here, I'm just going to put, no, let me just save this, grab these lines of code, create a new folder called layout. Inside that layout, create a file called app.blade.php. Now paste everything there. Now this blade.php is where we are going to be uh putting anything that we want to put then we can extend that blade of php in any view that we want to extend it to so inside this blade of php i can put maybe my own custom bootstrap url link which we are going to try so inside here i'm going to put at yield so please do install the vs code blade syntax supporting so that you can actually have access to this Syntax support. So the content will go in the body, and we can even include some file. Let's say, for example, you have a nav bar. You can just uh, let me just put everything here. ID up. So inside this div, maybe you have a nav bar. You can just type down b include, and then you can put uh, the name of the directory. So usually called includes, then you can put the navbar. So let's just comment that out. We don't have the navbar for now. So when you want to make use of this, it's very simple. All you just have to do is to put down extent. So with an extent, you can put the name of the file and also the directory path this way. You can just say layout.app. So let's go ahead and change also the title of our URL, sorry, of our app. So if you can recall earlier on, we, we made use of how uh, the environment variable and we saw how we can change the app name. So we, I want to use that app name here. You can just use the config app dot name. So if it's not found, we have to use the node app and that's it. And when we save, I was just kind of checking that out as well. When we save and come over to startlara.com. So if everything works perfectly, we should see that the title of the homepage is going to change. Uh, let's go over to, okay, we don't actually have anything for now. We don't have a homepage route. Let me kind of add a homepage route quickly. Oh, sorry guys for that delay. So in the route web.php. Okay, so I'm just going to add I think yeah. Let me add it at the top here. And let me just comment this out. So we have to return view. So the view happens to be welcome. And let me save that. Let's refresh and you can see over here we have start Laravel and start Laravel can be found in the app name coming from the environmental variables. So in the environmental variables, I put start Laravel over here. So that's exactly what you're using in the title of the app. And let me just go back to adobe.php. I think we have. Okay, let me just get rid of that line and everything is working perfectly so that's how we can use a custom uh, view let me just go ahead and visit boost watch 
so i just want to list some things out before we end the video so let me just quickly can just quickly use this let me open that i just need the link and uh, inside here we just have to put it down then i'm just going to grab a list from that so let me click on this flatly i just want to grab a list quickly so let me look for a nice list you can find okay farm one let me just grab this and uh this side our uh, welcome i'm just going to put div.container and i'm just going to put this down mm, let me format that properly so let's go ahead and save and refresh so we you if you can recall we do have some notes in our database i'm going to come to the routes and i'm going to see what i can grab one line of code from the notes so i'm just going to grab in this notes all and go up the routes so we grab all the routes then so with notes let's save that notes and we can come over here uh, what we have to do is to use the for each notes as notes. Let's end the for each here. Get rid of this. Get rid of this. And over here, we can say notes title. So that should definitely show us something. Coming from our database, you can see we have note one and note two. And that's because we have the active class there. That's why we are getting those things. And at least this kind of looks more neat. So you have seen we have listed everything from the database and we are making use of the Blade Templating Engine to actually uh, do this. So if you check in the resource folder, you can see there is a folder called Sats. And inside there, there, are, there is a app.scss scss file. And also, if you check in the root directory, you can also see the public uh, folder. So this public folder is actually rendering everything to our browser. So we are going to see how we can actually uh, create our own custom CSS file, then use that custom CSS file to actually style whatever we want to style over here. So let's go ahead and do that quickly. So I'm just going to open my commander in this commander we are going to install what is called the laravel ui so if you can remember we are using composer uh let me kind of check the official docs you can grab this line of code and paste that down and when this is done we can then uh actually use the bootstrap directly without even uh, including it from this url so this kind of install a lot of uh compatibilities with Laravel that we can actually work with like the Vue.js or we can work with the Bootstrap or we can work with React.js so but for this video we are going to stick with Bootstrap but in the future video we are going to see how we can use Vue.js or React.js together with Laravel so let's stick around and wait for this to finish and that's done we can now run PHP artisan I think we can use the yeah the Bootstrap we can just allow this to run, but we are not supposed to be having this error. Uh, PHP artisan UI bootstrap, not bootstrap. So bootstrap can scaffolding install successfully. So the way we can use that, we can run npm install to compile your fresh scaffolding. Now let's go back to that resource folder. Now in this resource folder, you can see we have inside the app.scss, we have the bootstrap brought in and also we have an included uh, CSS. I'm going to create a file called custom.scss. 
Now this custom does SCSS, we can then uh, import it over here. You can just type down custom and save. Now when we run this, it's not going to actually work. We need to first of all run npm install because in the root folder product we pro, uh, sorry in the root folder project we have uh, some dependencies that we can actually work with Laravel with like the Axios, the Bootstrap, the Cross EMV, and a lot of things over here. So Laravel mix is what actually mixes everything for us, either with Vue.js or with SaaS or with jQuery, anyone. So it's it, when this is done, it's going to signify us with a, a snack message that comes at the top right end of our screen tell us that uh, it's done compiling or it's done doing this or that so let's just give this some time then we can finalize uh, how we can use our custom SAS uh, on our blade templates so that is done I'm going to just run npm run watch so npm run watch you can find it over here so it watches the development mode and development mode has to do with anything that concerns the webpack that bundles everything with for us with using the laravel mix package so that's exactly what you see here and it's actually running so let me just go ahead and say body background color red let me just add important to override that and uh, let me just get it get rid of this line of code at the top and let's save save and refresh our browser and it's actually it should actually show us that it is working okay we didn't actually include this css file from our public directory so whenever we compile our css it compiles it to this public public directory so you can see the public directory here contains a lot of bootstraps, SCSS, uh, CSS classes. So let me go ahead and bring that over here. So at the, at the bottom here, I can just say link rel. I can now use the assets. Now inside the assets, you can go to the CSS slash app.css file. And that's a style sheet automatically. And let's refresh again. Oh, what happened again? I think that sets CSS, I guess. Call to undefined ad sets. Okay, in the assets, not assets. Okay, and that solves it for that. So you can see right now we are making use of the CSS that is coming from our public directory. And mind you, whenever you're putting this asset, make sure it's asset, not assets. So make sure it's a singular, not a plural. So over here, we can just close all this. And I'm just going to get this list group. Can just put uh, let's say the trapper name and back here can just select wrapper name. I want to give it a margin top of two m. Let me get rid of this and let's allow that to compile. So once this is done compiling, we just have to refresh and automatically you can see that the margin I gave it at the top is actually applied to it. So that's how we can use the blade templates and also use a custom CSS to actually apply CSS to our application. So there are a lot of things in Laravel documentation we can use together with Laravel itself, like we have the view and the react, which I told you. And also we can even generate authentication with bootstrap or authentication with react but as time goes on uh, if we can look into the future we can see uh, we may be actually i may be actually able to make a video about this so that 
we can really learn how we can use the Vue.js with Laravel. So that's it for how we can use Laravel with Blade Template Engine. So guys, if you really enjoy this, do make sure you hit the like button and also the subscribe button and see you on my next video. So the next one we are going to cover the Laravel Collective, the Laravel forms and, the, and or any, so we can just use those forms to actually store values in our database. So thank you for watching once more. Do make sure you hit the like button and the subscribe button and see you next time.